working. Ready. Accessing library computer data. This computer terminal provides full access to the LCARS computer net. It can be operated both by voice and keypad commands. Infinite power. Hello boys and girls, welcome to Doctor's Tutorial. This today is a tutorial for um, Kappa Gen website. If you've not known it, it's a floating email website. Well, oh, sorry, floating emotes uh, on Twitch TV streams or whatever. We're going to, um, I'm going to show you uh, how to incorporate this onto your side um, in respect of logging in and so on this is not normally logged in but i mean i've already got logged in right now at the moment so we just wait for this to go back again to the main page um so let's bring the uh capture on uh that'll do right that one so this is the website you need okay um we we'll just take these out we don't want those this is the um if I obviously I've already got mine connected to my game with so obviously if you when you first come to this page you never used it before if you connect this up to game wisp through twitch it'll give you a twitch login um, and then you can alter your sense I mean like you can see you can have them big you can have them small you can have them obviously if you're gonna have them like a little box um, you can change whatever you want um and, you know you can these are all the sort of settings that you know that you can change around on screen in respect of all the emotes which i will show you shortly um so just get this up here no we won't do that all right so we just get my other pc for a second and go into my own chat um because this will show up on the well no it won't i'll show you i'll show you in a minute anyway um now when you come to this page obviously this will be your this is where it will synchronize with the cloud online into your own channel so obviously we're just going to do test user okay just for the sake of it um this will be this is where you put your own channel name in okay that's where you're going to put your own channel name in this will be your uh you know you this will be your sort, sort of like alert address that you're going to be using so but to cut there is more on the end of this so you need to do click on this icon okay um, so I shall show you how to I'll just click on that one to do that so we're going to do test user for the sake of it um, okay but you must if you're going to stream you must have this page open all the time like night or, or whatever um, so we're going to there and then we go to there okay there's OBS these are all my scenes and so on uh, let's just say you've got all these on here. We need to capture my cursor as well. That does help. Capture cursor as well. I'll see these are the um, um, okay. So in order to get, um, we'll just bring this down here as well. Okay. Um, I'll bring that down here. And I'll put that on the top. All right. So as you can see, we've got this one over here. Okay. We've got this page along with yeah you know um, um so when you go down here right you that that link you had earlier okay right which is that one now okay we'll bring it over here now we're going to do now you can either right click or add like right, that way or you can do plus we're going to go plus browser source and you do this any other way that you're going to you know add stream labs aka twitch alert so we'll just do call it browser source you can call it whatever you like we'll do okay and this is where you're going to add the um, into there paste into there okay now just for the argument's sake for a minute so if you bear with me then we'll just change that over to let's just remove that one for a minute because i'm going to put my own one in there or is it, it's not going to work okay so you bear with me Right, there you go. Right, I'll leave that like that in the middle. Okay. 
So that's basically what you've done. So you've changed all them, right? No, not that one. We don't want that page. Um, and then you want this one, okay? So bring that up back up there. Now let's just say for argument's sake, we wanted, I don't know, um, we're going to put this on my, my bit because then it goes on there anyway. So we're not going to go too far down there because I don't want you to see my urn uh, anyway. Um, so let's just keep these as random. As you can see, if I go into my own chat, and I'll go B and Q love, you know, uh, load and whatever. I'll we'll just do this. I'll we'll do a load of emotes like that. And there you go. There's all the floating emotes. That's what to do with Kappa Gen. So um, obviously you can alter the settings all you like. Obviously they will disappear. You'll have to bear with them. Um, I've got it on there for unlimited emotes, I've got it on there for duration on, you know, you can change it down to, I don't know, you can change it down to 10 seconds if you really don't want it really to be on that far. Um, we'll just do another round, there you go, and then we'll, you know, that's how you do it, that's how, that's how you add it. If, you know, if there is a problem, you can always contact me, but that's how you would normally add the emotes, and add it by, normally by, same way as you do with Twitch alerts, as I said. Um, and then add it into the um, you know this one you know to the stream labs and so on and then you know you you know you get those you get you get then you get one stream obviously I've got it on double because you'll see my OBS at the same time so don't worry about that um, hopefully this has been helpful don't forget to click that like subscribe and if you've got any comments you're welcome to comment below the video I will leave, of course, the address for this, um, um, for the Kappa Gen Emo floater in the video description. Um, obviously, if you've got any problems, um, I mean, it's just a simple, simple tutorial. I know there's a lot of videos out there, but sometimes it helps to be simple. All right, thank you very much for watching, gentlemen, ladies. And I hope you found this useful. Um, good night.